today I'm gonna show you how to build this electric skateboard. As you know, electric skateboards are a thing now. They've been a thing for a while. There's the expensive ones, there's the cheap ones, and everything in between. But there's a new breed of electric skateboards. They're off-road. And you got a glimpse of one of them last time I was in New York. And I got to meet Vitaly, which runs the Portable Electric Vehicles channel on YouTube. He built himself this beast of an electric skateboard that supposedly does about 55 miles per hour, which is just insane. So I thought I would show you how I would build one on the cheap using off the shell parts to keep the build simple. So let's get started. First thing you're gonna need is going to be a deck. I couldn't really find a suitable deck by itself on Amazon. So what I ended up doing is just buying a complete board which was okay because I ended up using the Crux. Next, you're gonna need batteries. And those, you're gonna be able to use any of the ones that are sold through our trusted sellers on eBay. Next, you're gonna need uh, speed controllers, right? I wanna make this uh, off-road skateboard uh, all-wheel drive, so you're gonna have to order something like this. And then to house the batteries, I want the deck to still be able to flex. In my earlier build, I used this super stiff aluminum enclosure to protect the batteries. But the problem with that is that it makes the board really stiff and it loses all its flex, which makes it a little bit hard to ride on rough roads. So this time around, we are encasing the batteries using these 3D printed uh, enclosures, right? These will hold full batteries and you will need 10 of them to do the 10S batteries pack that you will need to run for these 36 volt skateboard. You're gonna need this, uh, you're gonna need this meter to measure the voltage and uh, how much battery you have left. And finally, the wheels and motors. So for this step, uh, it's pretty obvious at this point that hub motors are the best way to go. So going forward, the best electric skateboards that are going to come into the market are gonna be these ones that have the motors built into the wheel. These are called hub motors. And the only problem with those really is that they have less torque, but you can easily overcome that by just installing four of these motors into a skateboard. And that's what I did in my previous build. because I really didn't know how good it was. I thought it was really good and I wanted to wait until I let someone more experienced in electric skateboards test it out. Now they have and they are completely blown away by the performance of this electric skateboard. So I know I have a good build. And so for the build on this video, I also wanted to attempt and use uh, hub motors. Of course, there are no oversized off, you know, off-road hub motors available for electric skateboards right now. So. What I did was bought four of these hoverboard motors. For those of you who don't know, hoverboards were these little devices that uh, were super popular a few years ago and everyone was using them. And due to their popularity, their prices dropped down to a couple hundred dollars, right? But the problem is that the China and their Chinese manufacturing practices caught the best of them because they started cutting corners and as a result of that, all the batteries started catching fire. Main reason is cheap Chinese battery without circuit protection. You're basically running the battery unregulated. So it overheats, it catches on fire, there's nothing to stop it, there's nothing to turn the battery off. The batteries that you want to look for is Samsung, LG, Sony, Panasonic, basically name brand batteries. So much that they were banned from airports, they were banned from public places, they were banned on a lot of marketplaces. You couldn't, uh, you couldn't buy those in eBay, you couldn't buy them on Amazon for a while. And so that was a whole scandal. As a result of that, there are a lot of these uh, hoverboards that people have and they don't use no longer, right? Their batteries either went bad or they just lost interest in these devices. So they put up these hoverboards up on eBay. You can pick them up really cheap. 
in my case I just went straight to a seller that was selling the hoverboard wheels by themselves I paid ten dollars per wheel so for forty dollars I got four of these motors and that's super super cheap you can't even buy a single traditional hub motor for an electric skateboard for forty dollars so this is going to be a deal now let's get into the build all right for this next part I didn't exactly record it but all I did was open these guys up uh, I put two-sided uh, double-sided tape here on the bottom and then I stuck it to the to the bottom of this skateboard deck and that's how all of these 10 uh, boxes are stuck in there time will tell if two-sided tape it's going to be strong enough to hold these or if I'm gonna have to use something else like a you know some other like band or like a, I don't know we'll figure it out but as of right now um, they're double-sided taped to the bottom of this board. And these flex. Next, uh, you'd have to populate the battery boxes. And these cells, 18650s, they could be pretty much anything. You don't have to use high drain batteries. Here, I'm using the 3400 milliamp hours, which are energy cells. And these will feed the 40 amps that the system uses at maximum acceleration. So, so pretty much any batteries will work. Next, you'll just have to close the enclosures. And that takes a little bit of work. You just have to use a screwdriver and pinch the sides of the boxes next you will have to cut the uh, hardened steel screws off of the uh, trucks uh, don't use a reciprocating saw like I did I ended up using a grinder with a cutoff wheel that's much quicker next you will have to run two power cables and six smaller cables to run the signal from one controller the front controller to the back controller and then you have to attach the controllers to the back of the board. I ended up using four plastic washers so the circuit board didn't have to follow the curvature of the skateboard deck. Next, you will have to drill a hole so you can put the on off switch through it. Next, you will have to cut a square hole so you can install the battery meter through it. Cut it right on the center of the board, not off to the side like I did. Next, you will have to use these shaft couplers to be able to install the hoverboard wheels onto the sawed off truck. All right, at this point, you're now ready to connect everything. First, let's connect the 10 battery packs in series to create a 36 volts. And at the end of that, we'll use an XT60 connector. To do this, I used 116 inch uh, round brass and I just looped it around the screw terminals of each block. Next, you'll have to wire in the shunt for the battery meter. Then you'll have to connect the uh, high current wiring to give power to both of the speed controllers. Then you'll have to do the six cables that connect from the master controller to the slave controller. These are signal wires. And finally, you'll have to connect the three faces of each one of the motors. You'll just have to make sure and match the three colors. At this point, we're ready to set the battery meter. So you press this button until you get to this screen. So now uh, it's got what four cells of 3.4. Uh, so total capacity is going to be 13.6. So let's see, six amp hours. Full charge is 42 volts. Zero. Oh, so you press it for a few seconds and then it clicks onto here uh zero it's 30 volts yeah so at 30 volts each cell is set to three i think that's it right oh this one oh there we go well it's 40 volts so it's not 42 so we'll have to recalibrate this once i charge the battery again it shouldn't be exactly at a hundred percent should have done this at the beginning i mean it's almost a hundred percent 40.6 volts should be probably like 95 percent all right let's test this hover skateboard that's what i'm calling this thing hover 
skateboard. Here's the thing. Oh, that's in low speed right now. Reverse. There we go. And then we get to test ride it. very fast I want to say it's probably like 10 miles an hour it's the problem with having uh, you know hoverboard motors they're not designed to go faster than 10 miles an hour so I'm gonna have to rewind them or somehow figure out how to get these motors to go faster we could also uh, the easiest way would just be to over bolt them so run them on 48 volts instead of the 36 volts that they're designed to run it. So there we go. I mean, it's, it's good enough to get around town or whatever. It'll keep you from killing yourself, but not, not much fun. Not for the adrenaline junkies. not bad, but it needs to be faster. It needs to be faster. I paid $40 for these motors. I need to get more out of it. Alright, next time I will show you how to increase the speed, how to install a BMS system to charge your battery, and how to install a port to charge your batteries, because I still haven't done that, and some speed tests and uphill uh, torque tests. Thank you for watching this video, and as always, remember that it's more fun to build it than to buy it. See you in the next one. Brakes are really strong in this gap. <laughs>